Here's a question. Have you ever thought that you really do like cannoli, but you cannot have them because of dairy? Not a problem. Today we will sort you out. Hello everyone, I'm Yannis Kalafatis and together we'll learn more about Mediterranean cuisine. Today we will go away from the Greek cuisine and we'll have a closer look at um, Southern Italian uh, cannoli. We're not gonna do the completely traditional uh, recipe, we're gonna make it uh, dairy free which obviously can be made with the same recipe if you place the right ingredients into a normal recipe. Uh, with dairy uh, we're gonna make it a bit more uh, tasty complicated complex uh, but still easy to make so let's have a look here we've got all of our ingredients ready weighted so we're gonna get our gloves on if you want to see our recipe down below in the description will be on our website So first we have all the dry ingredients. For better results, it's better if you sift or pass the, the sugar and the flour or all the powders. Then we're gonna add white wine vinegar and the vinegar. If you have a blender or a mixer, feel free to do it. After mixing quite well and the dough becomes like that, it breaks apart a bit sandy. We are gonna add our butter and our egg. Now we're gonna mix until a proper dough will form. Even if you follow the recipe, sometimes the humidity and the temperature of the environment uh, or the room uh, will differ. So if it's... Um, sometimes you might need to dust uh, the top if it's too sticky uh, in order to roll it. Here we've got our dough, uh, last night we rolled it, uh, the minimum you can leave it in the fridges for one hour to rest properly, now we have left it overnight because we don't have time. Now what you're gonna do is, if it's from the fridge, if you haven't, it's better you leave it outside and then work it, however I haven't so I'm gonna use my hand uh, my body temperature to knead it a, a bit without pushing too much just to warm it up all right the next step is to open it up you get the rolling pin and you open it all the way uh, quite thin we'll see the thickness in a minute Whew, our exercise morning exercise is done so, here we have our dough rolled, you only need about half a millimeter, one millimeter I would say. You want it really thin, otherwise, and you want it as even as possible, otherwise you're not going to cook evenly. And if it's too thick, it will be holding inside, so it's really important it's the same size on each uh, corner of our dough. 
and same size. Now, we're gonna do it in two ways. Traditional way, we're gonna fry it on the pan, but I want to try my way, we're gonna put it in the oven, which is not gonna make it bubbly, gonna make it more even, more presentable, I would say. So yeah, uh, at the same time that we're rolling the dough, we have the temperature 160 degrees in the oven, and soon we'll put our whole oil on the pan to heat, heat up. So we're gonna turn our pan on the lowest heat possible, then we're gonna ring our dough. In case you don't have any rings, you can use a bowl or anything slightly pointed and about roughly the size of your um, cannoli tubes. Cannoli, no cannoli. <laughs> now what is left from the... After we're ringing, there will be a dough left. We can re-roll it if you want. So keep it on the side as leftovers. We can re-roll it and uh, re-ring it. So we could have made it slightly thinner, to be honest. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna get the oil spray, traditionally lard, but uh, yeah, let's keep it veg. You don't. You're gonna grease your mold, your uh, tube, and then we're gonna fold up on a tube and now you want to press it a bit where all the most of the big bubbles are gone like that and you want the two sides to touch There you go. Now we'll need something with a rack to put our molds on. So that one is ready. We'll put it in the oven as it is for 10 minutes. Now a good thing about the conventional mold in the oven is that it's spinning. So that's really important. However, if it's not spinning in your oven, you will have to rotate it five and five minutes. Okay, so we have our tongs ready. Oil is on 170. And we gonna, without touching the um, the dough, we're dropping it in. So one thing is that will start being bubble. The dough, one once the bubbles are gone, that means our cannoli are ready. Okay, so the result <laughs> we've got right here. Uh, this one, those two actually that they're from the oven. They look really nice, they're a bit more biscuity though and then we've got the ones that are a bit more puffed um, Here are the results, that's from the frying Obviously we've got a lot of them that didn't work out as you can see That I believe is due to humidity and it could be the dough, it can be a lot of things However we've got some nice ones from the oven, from the frying We're gonna keep them, keep them on the side for now First of all, we have got our praline. We saw that previously. We're gonna remove the clean film a little bit. And we're gonna get a small amount in our pipe bag for the decoration. We're gonna get our mixing bowl. And then we have got some ready dairy-free whipped cream. If you wanna make your own one, you need to get the coconut milk uh, tin and just blitz it about 100 grams of the whipped cream then we're gonna put 50 grams of our praline and as we use <coughs> as we're making dairy free we're gonna get our cream cheese and we're gonna put 30 grams now it's very important we just do some folds and you don't over mix it because that will kill our whipping cream here we've got everything we need, is our cannoli that we made earlier, our praline for decoration and our cream cheese. We're gonna get our mold and 
gonna start piping. One side done. We're gonna do the other side as well. And now the other piping bug is very important. We cut it uh, in a very thin hole. We're gonna hold it upside down. And we're gonna do a little bit of decoration. The same for the other side. And this is done. And here we've got our dairy free cannoli. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know down below what you think. Hopefully the Italians will not be mad at me for changing this beautiful traditional recipe. But all I'm trying to do is um, make Mediterranean food and sometimes make them dairy free. Because uh, dairy free doesn't mean that it's not tasty. So Click the red button to join our family and uh, other than that, have a lovely day. Oh, and the recipe, you know where to find it.